Aloha and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where I track my consciousness and the world's consciousness using some space weather tools available for all of us online. If you haven't downloaded Space Weather Live, the app on your phone, your device, it notifies you when geomagnetic storms, aurora, solar flares are happening within a decent amount of time to the actual occurrence of the event on the sun and occurring on the earth. So I would recommend you download that and because there is alerts coming in later today for sure on that app and I'll show you why. So here is a model about what we're going to be bodying at the end of today into the 28th. It is not a massive wave but it is a wave that I would say is from the 24th of December where that sun diving object went in. We had all that explosion into the 25th and a tiny bit of activity on 26, almost nothing. And today is pretty gentle on the sun as well, but things are changing and I'm here to show you what and why. Like I said, we had all these solar flares the 24th into the 25th. The 26th, things were a little more calm. Everything was very chill and it's even more chill lately, especially. So the last little while, especially on the sun's surface, flares have slowed right down. But <laughs> what have the cryptocurrencies been doing in response? Bitcoin's been going down. The rest of the top six are going up in price. Very interesting. Like I said, this sun diving object that this is all the quiet from yesterday and today, it's so quiet except for that flash. So we had a little flash that was confusing and hasn't shown up on any of the instruments so far, but sometimes they update it late. But I'm expecting that flash to register as a potential flare or something like that, but it didn't quite. So it's that happens sometimes too with the footage. This is the planetary K index. This is going to go up and we're going to get some aurora activity by the end of the day. This is a solar wind. It's going to go up again as we enter into the end of the 26th. X-ray radiation should continue going down and being calm. These solar flare or these sunspots are all going to the limb. So these might flash us as they all kind of rotate away. And there's not as much solar flare intensity coming towards us after all. What is though facing us now is this huge coronal hole. So this is going to maybe cause some earthquakes. This is also going to increase the solar wind speed as well. And it's more of a sustained thing instead of those pops and those fast wave that fast waves that come from these large coronal mass ejections that come out of the sun during the flares and so on like so see how quick those are relatively but a solar coronal hole it takes days it's going to be it's going to stay there it's going to rotate across the sun hopefully it's going to shrink maybe a, and cancel itself but this is going to be days of extended heightened solar wind that's kind of what that means. So solar wind speed, just 29 over average, 29 kilometers per second over average, nothing crazy. That'll obviously go up in speech. Keep this website on your browser. Really easy way to check the speed exactly. If you guys have been listening to me last couple days, you've been noticing I've been pointing our direction at the United Kingdom, Scotland. Um, this particular area, these islands have been kind of shaking and calling to me as a psychic and they're getting a bit of weather as well. They also were seeing those polar stratospheric clouds which is due to the temperature shifts and there is a bit of a temperature shift I would say that's concerning it seems like to the regular weather people. So we're gonna look at that shift in temperature really quick. China I heard is actually much colder Beijing than usual so they're kind of disturbed about that. Then we've how are we doing here in North America? I would say it was, it was a little more mild than usual and United Kingdom look at this this is a little more mild than usual even so I'm not sure maybe things are getting better now maybe we're on the turn but this particular area is just calling me over and over like pay attention pay attention there's lightning grounding in that area there's also lightning grounding in this mysterious area that's in between Central and Central America and Africa this spot is always interesting to me Australia is getting some action too but we have some flooding in Malaysia, flooding in Germany, and some coldness in some unexpected areas. So just to keep alert, what we're listening for now is earthquakes and volcanoes again, because that's what this solar wind pushing on the earth is literally going to cause. So we're going to keep an eye open for that. Right now, earthquakes are pretty quiet, though. Even in Sierra La Laguna, Baja, California, Sur Mexico, which usually just looks like craziness, still looks crazy, but 
it's getting better. Namibia, also very strange activity in Namibia. Oh, that's hitting my psychic senses big time. So I don't know a lot about that place other than, you know, the Akashic records that are kind of coming to my mind right now. So that was a Easter egg for sure. Namibia, check them out. Kapapa, Hawaii, looks like there's some odd behavior going on there as well. (laughs) Thailand is all blacked out. That's our earthquake section. Russia's atmospheric stoking and electromagnetic field here that they're measuring between 0 and 40 hertz, which is in our brainwave range, is now showing that there is these pulses going on that kind of extend between 0 and, let's say, 28 hertz, but likely it's more like 40 these atmospheric stokings or these amplifications through all of these frequencies at once in such a robotic way is very noticeable here and something you should keep an eye on for sure how it makes you feel how when it showed up it just showed up earlier so are we getting back to work (laughs) is the drum the the drum like just getting hit so we will begin rowing the boat again you know the war drum that's what I'm kind of getting off of that particular experience right now psychically like i said these two models are going to start getting crazier as the solar wind hits later today the global consciousness dot has been fun to watch though because since the solar flares have calmed down just in the last 24 hours like you can see in this window is just 24 hours look how much more green we've got going on in here and a few visits to the blue section high coherency we just had a moment of high coherency and as i'm filming right now we're moving to a higher coherency on a planet. So while everything's calm, solar winds calm, I'm not seeing anything shaking crazy this moment, earthquakes, uh, volcanoes, mostly calm. We're in just this moment of calm that I get to talk to you about space weather because it's about to hit us. And then this coherency is likely going to get a little more wacky. So that's a fun part of the study, but also unfortunate part of the space weather is a little bit of wackiness. And if you're on the roads, just please be careful. I have to remind you over and over and over. I've got many messages. Please be careful driving. You got, you got this. Just focus. Do it in the daylight. Now, I have been a part of this event called Energia. This event got, in a way, I want to not want to say anything negative, but there was a flub. There was incoherency, let's say. And the live stream of all of these talented people who made their little blip and added it to this huge download, I would say, and this talent review of all these people in our community offering services and and doing research and so on for our betterment. This event needs to be, it needs to be played again. They're going to work on replaying it, but there's some of the videos are downloaded and uploaded now, so go check them out. We worked very hard to make this free, all of our audiences as a way and a way to give back. So an opportunity for you there as well as go check out interview with an ED or extra dimensional, this channel, and then the private services as well, the private channel. It's kind of basically real filmmaking. It's pretty awesome. I love mixing with people who actually do filmmaking work and have more experience in the field, but aren't, you know, you know, they aren't foreign to me. They feel like soul family. So this is another soul family opportunity. I only promote my soul family (laughs) and this interview was a lot of fun so shout out to that if you want to watch it it is available as well on their youtube channel if you need to get a hold of me ascensiondiaries.com is the place to do it i have my sessions here for you pick what you need also to contact me or for me to get to contact you this pop-up will come up click all these things fill them all out that's going to keep us tight knit easy peasy as a creator keep track of me enjoy what's coming because things have not stopped things are only continuing to get crazier and more exciting (laughs) i'm like what else do i show you i don't know all right and finally now that i showed you the cryptos are kind of going in an interesting direction the momentum for trading the financial new year is coming up i just there was some memes about it like the traders are getting antsy you know they want to get back into it they want to move the economy they want to do some things if you're interested in participating in that with your crypto and you're not sure how to do it or you're interested in participating in crypto for the first time may i recommend my husband jace who does the conscious crypto academy he's created this for all of us 
and he would love to bring you in and help you out and guide you through it because it's his passion. He has a lot of fun doing it. So taking in new people now, please take advantage of that opportunity. And before the 1st of January, especially, I would recommend that. Just again, as a psychic, I uh, <laughs> just the information I'm getting. So I love you all very much. We are going to body this solar wind gracefully and continue looking to see what that coronal hole is going to be doing to us the next few days and what the articles and the news are going to be like in the next few days because that's coming through for me too a lot right now as well. I'll be here to discuss it with you and please enjoy the meme stacks I've also posted on my Instagram for entertainment and therapeutic purposes. I put a lot of effort into that, you guys, so I'm glad that you like them. <laughs> Until next time, I love you. Beep, beep,